Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is number 33, Quadratic Inequalities, as part of my IGCC exam question series. If you find it useful, please like and subscribe, and let's get into the maths. Okay, to solve a quadratic inequality, the first thing you need to do is factorise. So two numbers that add to make 3 and times together to make minus 10 are x plus 5 and... Um, x minus 2. So yeah, 5 and minus 2 times together minus 10, and they will add together to make 3. And then I ignore the inequality bit, and I just imagine it was equal to 0, so I would solve it like I would do normally, by writing these two equal to 0, which gives me x is equal to minus 5, and x is equal to 2. And then what I do is I sketch a quadratic which goes through minus 5 and 2, So it looks something like that. And I'm looking for the values of x which give less than zero uh, values of y. So all of the x values which give y values under the x-axis. So it's that blue line there. It's that set of x values between minus 5 and 2. And I write that solution like this x is bounded between minus 5 and 2. And because it's a greater than or equal to, I have to put these symbols in here. And if I were to draw that on this number line here, I would draw a filled in dot there all the way up to a filled in dot there because they are less than or equal to. Okay, next question, very similar, but I need to factorize this and it's a bit trickier. So I've got a, b and c. I multiply a by c, which gives me 4 times minus 6, which is minus 24. And the b term is minus 5. So I need to find two numbers that times together to make minus 24 and add to make minus 5. And they are minus 8 and plus 3. So because the a term is 4, I write 4x, four 4x four all over 4. And the two numbers are minus 8 and plus 3. Now, how can I divide these brackets by 4? Well, I can divide this left one completely by 4, so that would do the job. It will give me x minus 2, and 4x plus 3 would stay the same. And I'm going to check what values of x make these equal to 0. I get x equals 2, and here I get x equals minus 3 over 4. I then draw my quick sketch of a quadratic going through minus 3 over 4 and 2. Just like this. And this time I'm asked to find the values of x which give greater than 0 y values. So up here and up here. So those values of x which give those yellow values are all the values to the right of 2 and all the x values to the left of minus 3 over 4. So I'd write my solution as x is less than minus 3 over 4, and x is greater than 2. Oh, and I nearly forgot. We can, we can get these answers from our calculator. If we go to inequality, and we go to degree 2, and we have case... Um, 1, because it's greater than 0 here, I could type in 4 minus 5 minus 6, and those are the correct answers as I've written down, so it's a great way to check. Okay, next question um, is very similar in that I need to write this as a quadratic to start with equal to 0. And now I can factorise that. AC is 5 times minus 40, which is minus 200. And B is minus 17. So those two numbers I'm looking for are minus 25 and plus 8. Uh, yep, that works. So I write 5Y. 5Y. All over 5. I put those numbers in, minus 25 and plus 8. 
uh, look, how can I divide this, these brackets by five? Well, I can just divide the one on the left by five and that will do the job. I imagine this is equal to zero. So I get y equals five and I get y is equal to minus eight over five. Quick sketch of a quadratic going through minus eight over five and going through five will look like this. I want all the bits which are less than zero. So these bits down here and the x values that give those are the ones here. So I write minus eight over five less than or equal to y is the variable less than or equal to five. Again, I can go into my calculator and I can check that by doing 5 minus 17. Whoops, actually I need to go back a bit. Here we go. The case is uh, less than or equal to, so that's case 4. And I do 5 minus 17 minus 40. And there it is. Perfect. Okay, next question. I have two separate inequalities, which makes this one tricky. So the first one I can solve by doing 3n plus 2 is less than or equal to 14. So 3n is less than or equal to 12. So n is less than or equal to 4. Over here, this one's a quadratic. I can multiply both sides by n squared plus 5 which will cancel the denominator on the left and times by one just gives me n squared plus five. I can set this equal to zero, which gives me n squared minus six n plus five. I can factorize that to get n minus five and n minus one. And I can write that as less than zero because the um, sign is pointing towards the um, ends, pointing away from the zero. So it's the same there. This gives me n equals 5, n equals 1. Draw a quadratic 1 and 5. Go down through there, up through there. Less than zero is all the things underneath the axis, which means that n needs to be between 1 and 5. So n needs to be between 1 and 5. So because n is an integer, a whole number, the possible values for n which satisfy both this inequality and this inequality are not 1, because it can't equal 1. So 2, 3, and 4. And it can't be anything more than that. So it's just these three. Okay, final tricky question. We have that uh, the area of this rectangle is A. So the area would be the two, uh, well, the length times by the width. So I could write it like this. And we're told that, that area is less than 3x plus 27. So I can expand these brackets to get 6x squared plus 4x minus 12x minus 8 is less than 3x plus 27. You can simplify the left-hand side to get minus 8x minus 8 is less than 3x plus 27. And like all quadratics, I want to make them equal to 0. So minus the 3 to get minus 11 and then take away the 27 to get minus 35. And we will factorize that. So the AC is 6 times minus 35, which is minus 210. And the B value is minus 11. 
So the two numbers we're looking for here are minus 21 and 10. Yep, that should do it. So we write 6x, 6x all over 6, and we have minus 21 and plus 10. Now neither of these we can divide perfectly into 6, so instead what we do is we divide one of them by 3 and one of them by 2. And that works out nicely because this left one could be divided by 3 to get 2x minus 7. And this one could be divided by 2 to get 3x plus 5. This tells me that my x values are 7 over 2 and minus 5 over 3. And as always, I draw a little sketch. Minus 5 out of 3, 7 over 2 quadratic comes in like that and I want all of these to be less than zero so that's below the axis so the x values are along this line here so they are between minus 5 over 3 and 7 over 2 and we're done That's quadratic inequalities done. If you found that useful, please like and subscribe and then have a go at the next topic. Bye for now.